Looking for a friendly gym with a high-end feel? You'll get that here at Kayla Fitness Solutions. So how many meals go through here in a, in a, in a, in a span of a week? On average, about 15,000. 15,000? Wow. What we do is we will customize meal plans according to several factors. Uh, first, your health goal. So we'll take that into account as well as your taste preferences, allergies, if there's a certain way that you like to eat. So for example, paleo or keto is very popular now, raw vegan. Um, we'll take all of that information and match up our menu items with that so that you can get basically the services of a personal gourmet chef without paying the price for it and without having someone to actually come to your home uh, and cook it. The meals themselves will just come to your home. Well, welcome back vlog. Uh, thanks Joanna for having us. Um, let's just get right into this. Uh, um, tell us, how big is your team? So our kitchen team, we've got about 18 staff there and we have an admin team of, I would include myself in there, so there's uh, four of us on the admin team and uh, about 25 delivery drivers. Wow, it's a big team. Um, there's definitely a lot of moving parts in here. Can you tell me like who is doing what kind of thing? Or? A typical day, just to give you an example um, of all the different moving parts that we have. Um, myself and our executive chef, we would agree on the weekly menu, which he would bring in his culinary experience and you know make sure that it's delicious and uses seasonal uh, produce and flavors. And I would just make sure that it actually follows our holistic nutrition guidelines and it's uh, going to be food that people can eat if they're targeting certain health goals. Um, so we'll come up with the menu and um, our admin team will have to input it into all of our software and um, make sure that it's visible online for our co uh, customers. And, um, and then we'll start taking the orders from our current clients as well as any new clients that come on on board during that week and um, put together the, the orders so that the chef can see in advance what he needs to order for inventory, they can start their prep list, they can start actually making all the food um, and then on a busy packing day we'll start packing all the orders, uh, getting them organized by drivers, quality checking them and then and then the deliveries happen. <laughs> Who's your uh, chef? Uh, his name is Chris Burton. Yeah, he comes. Uh, he's actually from the Fairmont Hotel. He used oh, wow. to be their executive chef. So he's he's very talented. Uh, our meals are really delicious. Which a lot of people, when they start a healthy eating plan, they don't actually quite expect it to taste as good as it does. Um, and then of course he does follow all of our guidelines in terms of using holistic, nutrient-dense ingredients. We use only ethically sourced meats and uh, seafood, organic produce as much as possible. And, and we do try to support local farmers and, uh, and distributors. So. And you have uh, a pastry chef as well? Uh, yeah, we have uh, one amazing snack chef. Uh, she's also a registered nutritionist, so she'll help uh, do consultations as well. Um, and then I dabble in the snack station as well a bit. Uh, that's, that's my favorite part. Tester? <laughs> the, the taste tester, that, yeah, that's definitely uh, <laughs> the favorite job of everybody on here. But, uh, but yeah. So who's your partner in crime, uh, Josh? Can you tell me about him? Yeah, so uh, Josh, he's, he's my not, not yet husband, <laughs> but we do have two, two babies together actually as well. But um, I started the business myself just over f three and a half years ago and um, he was working at an IT uh, firm before that and um, it wasn't until actually things started really taking off with this business um, and actually at the same time I got pregnant with our first child so um, I wasn't able to take off any, any time during that time so he took parental leave and during that time he actually started to get a little bit more involved in the business and from an IT point of view, he was able to see a lot of areas for improvement and bring in his expertise and uh, it really helped 
us be able to take this to where it is now. Do you both have a, a business background at all? <laughs> Not at all, actually. Um, zero business experience. Um, I actually never even worked in a kitchen before. I was just a home chef. Okay. Um, and uh, I have a nutritional background. Um, and he has his IT background and just came a, together perfectly. Yeah, it actually did. And I think us not having a business background actually helped us to shape the business um, and the, the model into what it is now because we weren't blinded by any, you know, rules or, or you know, suggestions on how things should be. And we just went with what worked best. So. Well, saying that, did you have any role, like, do you have any um, mentors or people ad advising you at all? Or? So actually when I did decide to start the business, I, I did have to apply for some funding um, through a, a government program and one of their criteria for providing entrepreneurs with funding was that you do have to be paired with a mentor and it was actually a volunteer mentor and um, I, you know, at first I thought I knew everything and I just kind of wanted to get the ball rolling on my own, but I can't say enough good things about having that mentor and he was able to really answer a lot of my What's questions. What's the name of that program? Um, it's uh, called Futurepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, it's from the Business Development Bank okay. uh, of Canada, I believe. Yeah. So. How long did it take to launch from an idea to your first customer? From the moment that I quit my previous job that I was doing, uh, which was actually a private chef, uh, mm -hmm. For just for a personal family, um, you know, I had the ideas always rolling in, in my mind mm -hmm. for a few months before then. But from the moment I quit my previous job until the moment I had my first client, I would say it took about three months. Well, that's pretty quick, actually. Well, it's it helps when you have nothing else to do yeah. and you <laughs> have that pressure because oh shoot, you quit your job, so you really have to <laughs> do something now. Did it take long to find like, the right space or like that kind of thing? It took me a little bit of research f to find a space um, that I was able to use for my needs at that time, which were quite small. I only had a handful of clients, most of which were actually just friends doing me a favor, <laughs> eating my food for free just to give me some feedback. And um, so what I had to do was rent a commercial kitchen uh, during the off hours at a at an existing uh, bakery and um, I was using that space for I would say a good six months before business actually grew so large that we outgrew their kitchen and we had to find our own space um, and because there was quite a bit of pressure to find our space rather quickly I didn't really have the time or resources to find a perfect kitchen, you know, that would work ideally for us. So we just sort of went ahead with the first available place that we could find, um, which is that retail store that we have right now. And uh, luckily the tenants next to us and below us were, uh, were no longer there, so we were able to grow into the space and we actually have the entire building now. <laughs> well, it's all good signs, <laughs> expanding yeah. pretty quickly. Um, why do you think companies and programs like your, your own um, are becoming so popular these, like, these days and just a few years ago didn't exist? I think is it about, you know, like Ubers and, and these other types of delivery services? And yeah, I think there's a, quite a demand for this type of market now, especially not that there wasn't before, but uh, in Vancouver, for example, um, people are very busy. They're also very health conscious. And uh, in a city like ours, we have so many great restaurants and people are used to eating well and they expect a really good quality and, and variety for, for their money. Um, so those three, um, those three things right there are the perfect uh, combination to have a meal delivery service that caters towards health goals, uh, makes it so that you don't have to get out of your house, you can have the meals delivered to you and uh, they're all really top quality, something that you could find in a, in a top restaurant as well. I guess time is a big factor in people's lives these days, especially when you have two, both parents working or a couple both are working and or multiple jobs and they're trying to stay fit. Um, I guess time is basically it comes down to it and trying to, it's hard to eat healthy when you're always on the run or on the go or you gotta go home and cook dinner and stuff too. So, and it's, I found that, yeah, I looked at your prices and they're very um, affordable yeah, <laughs> when, you, when you factor in the amount of money you, you um, put in and 
going to grocery shopping and that kind of stuff, right? So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we've actually done a comparison of yeah. if somebody that will go to the grocery store and let's say, for example, you want to put together one recipe that you found, mm -hmm. um, just the amount of money and time that you would need to spend on purchasing each of those individual ingredients, take it home, cook that meal, you know, you might have that meal for that one evening and then maybe you'll have leftovers for the next day or two, but you're going to be eating the same thing. Um, a lot of the ingredients will probably go to waste because you're not going to use you know, that entire bunch of parsley for, or, you know, or, or whatever ingredients you've purchased. Um, so you might end up wasting some money there and plus you don't get the convenience of having it already planned out and measured out for you and, and cooked for you and um, you're stuck with just that one dish, whereas exactly. with a meal plan service like ours, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to leave your house. It will be catered to exactly your taste preferences and your health goals, mm -hmm. um, and you're gonna have a different meal to eat every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you deliver to work? Yeah, we, we deliver to a lot of different office spaces, so we have morning deliveries, uh, so if you just wanna show up to work and have your meals delivered there, we can do that. Otherwise, uh, we do also deliver to homes in the evening time. So what's been your biggest challenge so far? I would say, apart from the lack of business experience and trying to keep up with such a growing business um, in such a short amount of time, um, it's, it's been a bit of a challenge to make sure that we're staying true to the real vision of why we started this business in the first place and not allowing the demands of growth and trying to, you know, focus on expanding and seeing what's happening with our competitors uh, take us away from what the true values were. Um, so we've done a really good job with that, and you know, we're we're making sure that we're staying true to the holistic value and being ethical, and you know, making sure that the meals that people are receiving from us are ones that we as nutritionists would recommend. So. What would you say has worked the best for advertising and getting your name out there? Is it word of mouth? Is it social media? Is it yeah, it's actually been the majority of it uh, word of mouth. Uh, we haven't done much marketing in terms of social media or, or any other sources. Mm -hmm. um, especially for the first two years of the business, it's just been word of mouth. Yeah. So that's, that's how I found out actually is word of mouth. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and it just goes to show that people actually enjoy the, the service enough that they're telling people about it. Yeah. So. Well, a friend of mine works at Amazon and he actually works in an office and he told me about this at the gym actually. So how do you get meals to people on time? It takes a lot of planning and a lot of really great staff who all love what they do. You'll see in our kitchen if, once I give you a tour downstairs, but everybody's just hard at work, you know, making, we have people all doing different tasks and everyone's doing their own thing but somehow it all just works really well together and then at the end of the day we know at a certain time we're all ready to, uh, to start packing the orders. We give ourselves a certain amount of time to get that done and then the drivers start showing up and yeah, we're, we're done. <laughs> Do they use any kind of like Google Maps, I suppose? Or yeah, we do use, uh, we've actually recently started using an app that helps uh, make the routes the most efficient and it actually benefits the drivers too since it makes it so that their last delivery is as close to their own home as possible so they can just go home at the end of the night. What platform do you guys use for your websites and like ordering and that kind of thing? Yeah. So it's actually a custom-built uh, software that, we, that we've that we got, and it's still in the works. There's a lot of room for improvement, which we're actually, Josh is mostly working on helping develop. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's just a custom. Is there an app on the way? There is, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of actually really exciting IT features on the way, so yeah. an app is one of them. So how does the, the quality of your food hold up from like when it leaves the kitchen to the table on someone's desk or at home? Yep, so uh, we do actually encourage deliveries at least two or three times a week. Um, that way people don't have meals sitting in their fridge for too long. Uh, we do make everything fresh the same day that it's delivered. So that same day um, pe people will receive their order and then within two or three days before they get their next delivery, those meals will hold well. And they actually are also planned so that we're using ingredients and cooking methods to help keep those meals uh, hold well. And what bags do you use to uh, get to transport the meals? We have our own uh, reusable thermal bags that we use and we'll swap them out on each delivery. 
So why this model? Why did you decide to uh, have a little kind of shop, a walk-in store and then delivery service? Yeah. Well, actually the shop, uh, that was not planned at all. That's just sort of actually recently happened uh, just because we, ha we happened to have the space on a very uh, busy street. And there was actually quite a bit of a demand from people that walk by our, our store when it was just the uh, delivery system. And people would ask if they can come in and try out some meals uh, to go just for lunch. Um, so that's how that opened, was just there was a demand for it. Um, and then in terms of the model for everything else, that's actually also just grown organically as we've you know, come to know the business and what works best for us. Um, the way that we have the system now is actually a lot different from when we first started. Um, there's a lot of different changes that happened and um, just to be able to keep up with more clients and uh, make things more efficient. Um, so it's just been learning as we've went along. Where can people find you? So we're uh, on the web, uh, eatyourcake.ca, and uh, our location's at 1443 West Broadway. What's your story, Vancouver? Our city, our stories. All right, thanks again, vlog. Please like, share, subscribe. We really appreciate your support, so uh, keep watching, and uh, see you next time. No, no, no.